Hey everyone. Today we are inside of Illustrator and I'd like to introduce you to a cool concept called Envelope Distort Make with Top Object. So I have a few files to show you. In this first one just here, you can see I have two things for want of a better term. This thing on the left here is just a, uh, a crude shape that I used, that I drew using the, uh, the pen tool. And this thing over here is just a collection of rectangles. In this case, it's a group. So when we're making these envelope distorts, we need two things. We need a topmost object, which is going to define the outer boundary of this product that we're about to make. And then the second object is what we will actually visually see within that product that we are about to make. So the thing that defines the outer boundary needs to be the topmost object. So in this case, we're going to select this guy, right mouse click, arrange, and just choose bring to front. That's making sure that this guy is indeed the topmost object. Now you may need to, you may be thinking that we need to arrange these in some kind of fashion like this where we need to roughly line them up. That's not the case at all. You can have these very loosely overlapping. You don't even need these things overlapping at all. Actually, I'll keep them separate just to prove the point here. So if I select both of these, object, envelope distort, make with top object. And there we go, fantastic. So um, our topmost object did indeed define the outline of this object. And then the bottommost object is what we visually see within here. So this looks fantastic, but uh, we do have a couple more options that we could potentially play with. Uh, with this guy selected, you want to make sure that is selected. Object, Envelope Distort. We have an option in here called Envelope Options. Now you don't really need to worry about any of these guys just up here, but this Fidelity option might be one that you want to play with. So I'll turn the Preview option just on here like so. Now I believe this comes in by default at 50%, but I've been playing with this earlier, so you can see that, let me just cancel out of here and I'm going to zoom in much tighter here. So again, with that selected, Object, Envelope Distort, Envelope Options, you can see that with the fidelity down around 50%, that artwork doesn't uh, align itself very closely with the outer edge. And actually, if we take this all the way down to zero, um, obviously that um, arrangement is much looser. So we will bring this all the way up to 100. I like how this looks in this situation, but again, um, whatever suits in whatever example you're working on. So I'll leave that at 100 there like so, and that looks great. Uh, just to show you, you can also release these uh, as well if you need to. So under Object, Envelope Distort, Release. And that will give you your two original items back there like so. Okay, fantastic. Let's have a look at another example. I have one involving text just here. So this is going to be what we're going to be distorting. So of course, this will be needing to be our topmost object. So let's do a quick double check. So we select that, right mouse click, arrange, bring to front. Fantastic, we know that's the topmost object. Also, I just wanted to prove the point in this example here. This doesn't have to be a solid fill. Let me jump back to my first example. Remember I started out with a solid object here. It had a fill and no stroke. This one here has a stroke, but no fill. Actually, it does have a fill, I beg your pardon. It is white, but that wouldn't matter if that were transparent. Uh, all Illustrator is interested in is the path just here. That's all Illustrator cares about. So let's select both of those. Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Top Object. Fantastic, there we go. Now, what's even greater about this is that this is still live text. I can actually double click on this to get inside of our uh, object here. And if I double click again, I can get inside of the text just here, and I could type in something like somebody's name, like Michael or Bob. There we go. And then I'm just selecting my tool and double clicking my selection tool, that is, and then just double clicking to get my way out of there. Uh, same rules apply as before, guys. We can, with that object selected, we can go up to Object, Envelope Distort, Envelope Options. And if you weren't liking the way that artwork was adhering to the boundary with the preview turned on, you could start to play with the fidelity in there as well. Now it's very subtle, I'll agree, but you can see there is some subtle changes happening around the edges of the text. Okay, and again, we could go up to Object, uh, Envelope Distort, Release, if we wanted to get our original items back there like so. Okay, I have another example just here. This is actually a real world example of a logo that I built for a client. This was the final uh, artwork. This was the final logo. And I just wanted to show you. So this uh, section just in here, the actual words vacuum trucks, 
The way I actually constructed that was using these two items just down here. So this is text just down here. You can see that's all nice and square. I just built this little object just in here, selected both of those, object, envelope, distort, make with top object, and there you go. That's how I was able to get those arcs in the word in the words vacuum trucks just there. Oh, and uh, one last thing I'd like to show you guys. Remember in that first example where I had a series of lines? They can actually be a fantastic design tool and one that I'm seeing uh, more and more people use in their designs actually. Uh, a quick tip on how to actually build those quickly. So if I just grab my rectangle tool and I'll just drag out a rectangle like so. Uh, if I go up to Effect, Distort and Transform, Transform, I'll just turn on my preview just here. What we're going to do is go after this move option in your vertical direction just here like so. So I'm going to move that down like so. So I'm rather happy with the spacing just there. And then all we need to do is come down to the number of copies and type in however many we like. So if I type in 10, press the tab key to commit. There we go. We've quickly got ourselves a nice series of lines. And just to show you how easy this is, if I want to put those inside of a circle, for example, holding down my shift key, just drag out a circle, select both of those, Object, Envelope, Distort, Make with Top Object. There we go. Fantastic, guys. I hope this helps. Catch you later.